Wow, the crispy CCG. Look at that sizzle. Wow, the most amazing lumpia. This is almost better than my mom's. I can't lie, almost better. Oh, and look at that dessert, guys. I don't know what it is, but it's looking amazing. It's out of this world. Incredible. Welcome back, Big Time Eaters. Today, we have another Big Time Review for you guys. We are at Reta's Filipino Cuisine. And guess where we're at? We're not in Philadelphia. We are actually in New Jersey, which is just right over the water. So we're still close, but we're continuing on this food tour with this amazing gem. Absolutely. We're not in Kansas anymore. We're here at Reitas. It's actually named off of the owner's last name. They've been around here for three years. And guys, I'm so excited because it's very rare um, to find a good quality Filipino cuisine restaurant uh, serving up the Filipino dishes and doing them right. So excited, we got a lot of the classics, some more palatable and then some more exotic, but I promise it's all gonna be very tasty. We researched this for um, before the trip here, and yeah, we're excited to jump right in. So we ordered up one of the most iconic appetizers here. This is their Lumpia Shanghai. So this is a mixture of pork, vegetables, and, and carrots, and they serve it up with this sweet and sour chili sauce. And guys, this is like, childhood memories right here anytime there's a big family gathering my mom and my grandma would spend hours just rolling up hundreds of these little lumpia so i'm excited to try it yeah, right, so let's go on in let's go all in cheers. cheers wow oh yeah that's memories flooding in the perfect crispy lumpia skin and then that perfectly seasoned pork and vegetable mixture and it's all united with that sweet thai chili dip yeah, definitely. It's nice and warm. You get the oily taste too, and the flavors on the inside, very reminiscent of like a pork egg roll, and I'm loving it. Yep. Mm. All right, guys, so some of the dishes that we ordered uh, for the main course are starting to come out now. The first one is right here is the fried enjoy of Filipino cuisine, the lechon kawali, the fried pork belly. You see how crispy and crunchy that exterior is. And they serve it up with vinegar and then the gravy dipping sauce as well. And then here, this is also another not so well-known Filipino dish. This is sisig. So this is pieces of uh, pig that they chop up into fine pieces, and then they uh, douse it in soy sauce and it comes sizzling with a fried egg in the middle. We have the squid plates, which is a whole squid, and I believe there's two quail eggs on the side with a cup of rice. And if it's not quail egg, it's regular egg. And then there's some onions and tomatoes on the side as well with that vinaigrette sauce. Yep. Hey guys, ooh, this is reminding me of good quality Filipino Inside. cuisine. All right, check out that bite, guys. A little bit of rice, a little bit of that fatty pork meat. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm. Crispy, that soy sauce, bounced with that. Uh, citrus from the lemon, strong flavors. Mm. Guys, that is so unique, oh my gosh. That's amazing. You can taste the pork skin, mm -hmm. crispy bite, as well as that soy sauce stands out. Oh my gosh, it's like nice flavors. It is so much happening with that. Mm -hmm. Literally, it's the carnival of seasonings, mm -hmm. flavors, wow. Because when you're eating through it, no two bites are exactly the same texturally. You get some fattier pieces, some meatier parts. That's what I love about a good seasick. Moving on. Yeah, let's go in. So this right here, guys, this is actually one of my favorite sauces. It's uh, Mung Ben's multi-purpose gravy sauce. It's so good with this. Although, also, vinegar can't go wrong with that. So just gonna grab a piece, dink it. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Fatty pork belly. Huge fatty flavor. And the nice crispy crunch. Perfectly fried exterior. Very tender. Fatty beast and that crispy skin on the top of it. Mm. Such a nice bite. Wow. Mm. And that gravy too. That's yeah. different. I want to try that vinaigrette. Yeah. The vinegar is definitely helps to cut through that fatty flavor. Oh yeah. Really good. Let's move on to the squid, squid games. Yep, the squid game. They gave me this like in battle as a, in Minecraft, of course. In GTA. In GTA. Oh. So it looks like it's actually stuffed yeah. with uh, tomato and onion. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh yeah. 
Mm. Guys, the inside's like a medley of different vegetables going on in there. Mm. Onion, tomato. Onion, onion tomato, soup. ginger, very aromatic. Perfect char on the squid. It doesn't taste like fishy. Mm -hmm. Just perfectly cooked. Good flavor. Yeah, it's nice. And then we got this egg. Caught me off guard. Mm -hmm. Really salty. <laughs> really good flavors though, but. Super salty flavor. Uh, but it's a nice contrast. Yeah. To the, to the squid. Seafood. Very salty. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. And one of the other national treasures of Filipino cuisine is the dessert. And most significantly, the halo halo. So this is what's a shaved ice dessert. And they mix a bunch of uh, jellies and, and red bean paste. And they serve it up with the flan on the top, as well as the ube ice cream. And in the back there, some of that ube paste. And guys, this is like one of my favorite desserts because mm. it's just a mixture, a medley of everything. You mix it all together because that's what halo halo means. Mix, mix. Mix it all together, get some good bites. Hey, we, we've been needing an umbrella all day. If you saw the rain earlier, we were, <laughs> we were needing it all day if you found it. Cheers. Mm. Oh, wow. You guys, that shaved ice mm. with the ube ice cream. Oh, that's so nice. We eat. Mm. And then you get that coconut flakes. Yeah, so good. Perfect sweetness. And you get the textural difference with shaved ice and the different little bits and pieces of jellies and beans oh man this is one of my favorite desserts of all time the bottom you can't you cannot miss the bottom the buns the jellies you have to get the jellies too yep it's like a pinata with multiple treats inside yeah you're literally searching for each it's like that forest gum quote life is like a box of chocolate yep you never know what you're gonna get <laughs> yep we're gonna need some private time with the hollow hollow but before we do that we gotta get you guys out of here with the official pt drink Starting with B, how big is everything, how are the portions, and what was the price? Guys, portions, it's pretty good. It's a bit above standard, right? They definitely are not stingy with the meats. They give you a lot. The lupia is a good amount. The sea sig, definitely a lot of meat in there. Yeah, portions are really good as far as the price goes. Everything you're looking about between that 12 to 15 range for most dishes, and for the appetizers, maybe 7 to 12. Yep. So, yep. And one other thing to note, guys, we went with uh, some of their main entrees, but they also offer like kind of a cafeteria style where you can choose some dishes from there. They have skewers. Uh, different Filipino dishes like diniguang, kare uh, kare, uh, things like that. But we just wanted to show you guys what they had for main entree offerings. Moving into tea, time of this and service. Guys, we were greeted as soon as we walked in. They helped us along with making some selections. Um, yeah. Finishing it off with the E, how did everything taste? Guys, honestly, this is one of my favorites out here so far. Everything was wonderful, and it's almost like very reminiscent of Laoshi Holster's show. When I taste like the soy sauces and the egg rolls, and yeah. or sorry, the lupias, and even the, the, the pork belly, everything is just reminding me of my childhood. And so, non biased opinion, but flavors are actually really nice, yeah. though, in general. They do it right here, too. Absolutely. I can't agree more with Enzo. I mean, being Filipino myself, Southeast Asian cuisine, there's a lot of strong flavors. And they're not holding back here. You're gonna get all that wonderful flavor, that wonderful fattiness, that savoriness, mm -hmm. the, the umami from the soy sauce. Yes. Man, it's so good. With all that being said, we gotta give you guys a final rating. On three. One, two, three. Nine, Nine out of ten. ten. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just at a loss of words, man. Everything is really good. Yeah. Like, and I'm saying like really good. Like the flavors, the spices, the seasonings, everything was on point here. It was cooked fresh. Um, made to order so and like he said there is the a la carte version or the, the cafeteria version but man everything that we had that was made to order nice hot perfectly cooked mm -hmm. mm. I agree with every point Nadell just made and I'm gonna keep eating this hollow hollow guys yeah but that being said thank you for tuning in for another big time review don't forget to like comment subscribe down below hit that notification bell people need to know where the good restaurants are at with that being said we'll see you in the next video peace, peace.